have some people that say no to you. They don't get it yet. They will. You might be in your diamond code by then, or double diamond, or triple. They'll get it, they'll come back, and they'll work out better. I believe every person in here has extraordinary gifts. I believe you're destined to not live an ordinary life. My question to you is what are you going to do with this one and only life? You know, I've heard it said, you've heard it said, this isn't a dress rehearsal, it's a real thing. So you got this one and only life. Are you going to leave here this weekend and go, that was awesome? And feel good for the next 48 hours? Feel good for the next week? Are you ready to really draw the line? and let nothing get your way. <laughs> Procrastination is not your destination. I want you to call this home. I want you to dig in and let this be the difference in your life. I want you to make a difference not only in your business today, in your family, in your relationships, in you. I want to see that in you, actually. You know, procrastination is another word for waiting. You know what waiting means? Waiting means you're not going to do it. If you wait to do the steps to success, you're not going to do it. If you're waiting for everything to get right, to go to diamond, you're not going to go to diamond. We are not going to let procrastination not equal your destination. So I'm challenging you right now, when you leave here today, don't let the distractions, the world's bumps, mountains sometimes, get in your way and let you lose your focus. Are you ready to really stand up and make this your time? Are you ready to really say, you know what, no more excuses. This is it. You know, I was thinking in dying days, I had a pair of sunglasses. And I said to people, you know, whether you start the business today or you've been in a while, Sometimes, you know, the greatest part of this business is people. And yet sometimes people are the greatest headache. Those of you who've been in the business a while, you know you got that one person that's going to call you and you go, oh, no. <laughs> she just blowed it for the 27th time in a row. <laughs> oh, no. They messed her checks up and sent them to her old address instead of the new one. Oh, no. They're going to drain the energy out of me. See, we, we talked about you've got to learn to spend 80% of your time with the 20% that are doing all the work for you. And the goals with you. But when those other people draw you down, we, we had these sunglasses. And I said, sometimes, you know, just put these on and kind of go to your own world. Just kind of, they can't get to me. I'm free. Just check out. But you know what I found? Some of you said, Mark, I live where it's cold. The sun's not shining. I can't even find my sunglasses. So what happens when you don't have your sunglasses and we need something else? Well, today I'm going to give you a word. And this word I want you to take with you as you leave here today. And any time there's something negative, Anytime something is starting to pull you down, I want you to use this word to refocus you and get you back. So I'm going to give you a word. It's going to help you get it back. Right now, I'll refocus. You say the word, and you're like, that's that word at conference. And it brings you back to this group right now and this feeling you have when you know you've got the vehicle here to really make your dream board come alive. So, you know, what's that word? We gotta come up with something pretty powerful. You had a tough day, you 
need to get your groove back. I, I was thinking, I was thinking earlier I gave the It Works Award and I went backstage and Billy said, I talked to your mom this morning. She's feeling better. Uh, she's doing, I'm like, Billy didn't know my mom two years ago and she's comforting me back there while I'm trying to give her an award and get a picture with her. I thought, we need a song that if Billy Jean heard it, she'd go, this is good. Kind of get your groove back for a little bit. Something that when you're feeling like they're taking away, they're giving me some hate, I want you to feel this a little bit. Now I know sometimes the negative out there, you need more attitude. You know, maybe it's your brother in law that's a little bit of a hater. Or a boss that just drives you wild. You gotta think that's temporary because we get rid of those bosses. Check all time. Why is it that only people not spending energy on their own dreams have the energy to hate on someone else's? I can't ever figure that out. And it's your parade they want to rain on. So with them, we got to have some of the attitude. So attitude, we got to have a song a little stronger. something just because you want to celebrate. Dead free, that's celebrating. Completing the steps to success, that's powerful. Or maybe you're just feeling blessed today because you're part of a great team. Now for that, you're going to have a song with even more attitude. And with that song, I'm looking for A resounding noise or sound, rumble, roar, flare, blast, that lets the whole world know we're here. You've had the gold boom, the internet boom, the Wall Street boom. Now it's time for a little It Works boom. Hashtag it works boom. Facebook, Twitter. We're gonna let the world find out what boom really is. Now, I got a little problem with my throat going on, so I'm gonna need some help here. I'm gonna need your help here a little bit. Stand up for me, we I need a little energy here. You have to help me here. My voice is cracking a little bit. I'm going to say something, I need you to give me a boom back. When the world said, debt free is not sexy, it works that. <laughs> when the world said 2012 goal of doubling in sales in a tough economy was crazy, it works that. <laughs> and then you guys double that, give me two booms. <laughs> You know what, when the world said you can't move an entire company to Florida, it works said. <laughs> when the world said you can't outgrow in one year your whole corporate headquarters and rival Google on a new headquarters, it works said. <laughs> the world said you can't tight, tone, and firm in 45 minutes. 
Louise, and their words said, no. The world said, you had to wait 90 days or more to get your sexy back. Sandy and many of the people up here and their words said, no. Oh, I like it. The world said you can't be happy and more productive. But Sean and their work said, no. Come on, help me, I gotta get up here. The world said you can earn a million dollars in one year. But the Dempsey's and the Walsh's and their work said, no. The world said Tina and Bubba can't pay their house off. But Tina and Bubba and their work said, no. Oh, you gotta feel this a little better. The world said Shelby could bring her, home, her husband home from Afghanistan. And free, but Shelby and Edward said, no. The world said Kelly Gentle would work at Walmart for the rest of her life, and Kelly and Edward said, no. Nikki, Shelly, many other people in this room, they said you couldn't retire your husbands, but Nikki, Shelly, and the rest of their work said, no. The world said, Single moms couldn't pay off debt. They couldn't pay off 30000 in debt. And Rinda, and it worked that. The world says you can't own your own time. You can't stay at a loved one's bedside for weeks and weeks and still get paid. But Rusty and the Latin said, The world says, you cannot walk out of here today and actually change your life. The world says you'll leave here and you'll forget this feeling you got right now. The world says that you don't have an extraordinary life. I say, my corporate team says, this leadership says, and all of it works as... <laughs>